we have arrived at Phantom Moon Speedway. Well, sort of. Over there. Over here, we went to Colorado. Last national event at Bandemir Speedway. 65 years here, they sold off. They're gonna to try to go build somewhere else, but it won't be here. It won't be on the side of the mountain. Um, such an awesome place. Uh, city's not that far away. You can see it, maybe not in the daylight like this, but Red Rock Amphitheater, right on the other side of the hill. Went and saw a string cheese incident last night. That was interesting. Uh, pretty cool. I saw Chicago there before. If you've never been to Red Rock for a concert, put it on your bucket list. You won't regret it. Even if you fly out just to do that, it's worth it. But we're leaving here. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a weird thing to come here for so many years. I figure I've come out from Minnesota 40 races, I think I've come out here. So a lot of traveling, but it's been worth it. These guys are awesome out here. John Bannemir treated us so good the first time we came back in our 20s that we just kept coming back. So uh yeah it's really it's, it's kind of weird uh, to have it be done here but um we are going to load up the nova and take it home and freshen her up a little bit and then uh, head off to topeka and uh see what we get done there but uh that's it from denver for good so out. what you working on 4l60 out of a 2014 half ton express van uh, a guy called last friday 
broke down. Needs are real bad. I was gonna sell them a reman, but remands aren't available, so the fool that I am, good or bad, I turned it on knowing I had to leave on Tuesday. So I gotta jam this out tonight and Matt will put it back in tomorrow. We pulled it out this morning. So just finishing up washing it. Those are the rest of the parts. We wash everything all the way through complete and blow them off with hot soapy water. When I get done with that, I'll assemble it. Should be able to get most of it put back together today. Working on the forward clutch drum here and all things. And all these parts are over here are for it? Just, just on this table. Just on that table. This, this is out of a 4060 or 700 R4. This is here? That's all out of this one. Yeah. Okay, that's all from the same thing. Yep. This is all This is all from one transmission. Yep. And there's, little, there's a few more parts I'll show you in just a second here. So here's the control bell body. Separator plate. That's what a bell body looks like. Cheapers. Hydraulic passages for hydraulic for the tranny oil. You got that. Those are some of the clutches that I took out of it and the internal pistons and stuff and a sun shell. Here's the tranny case after we got it. I run it. And then these are the internal hard parts that I did on it. We throw all the bolts and stuff in a basket here, clean them, but. So yeah, that's one tranny. Then we're doing a 727 here for a stocker. That's this tranny here and those pieces up there. And Who's just, working on that one? I am. Dad's gonna try to finish it up when I'm gone. He's gotta order a band and stuff, but then we got the master cylinder out of the Corvette. When I got back from Denver, the pedal went to the floor. I suspect there's something wrong with the valve in it. I don't know. I have no brake fluid leaks. All the calipers are nice and dry and stuff, so we ordered a new master. I'll bench bleed that up tonight and get that put on, and we'll bleed the, bleed the wheels and get a transfer case to do, but I'll have to wait until I get it back for that one. That's for Joel's car. So, yeah, I'll finish washing this up, blow it off with hot, soapy water, and does that fluid just circulate? Yeah, it's parts of solvent. It's you know full, yeah. full bottom. When it gets oil, we we switch it out and we run it in our used oil burner. Actually, it's pretty good. So this is your standard 4L60 E failure. This is a three four clutch. You can see they're metal to metal. This is supposed to have clutch lining on it. Uh. There's six clutches in it. Very common issue. That's all that was wrong with this one. We're gonna upgrade it to eight frictions and eight steels in it. Make it a little heavier, baby. And then you gotta wash all this up. You see how they get all cooked? Mm-hmm. We wash everything out, so it's new. But most people do who overhaul this stuff, you know. truck and transform it into subscribe to drive we'll gut all this out we'll clean it all up we got a 408 ls motor built by line performance uh stay tuned we'll show you uh, progress as we go